with the Edmund Fitzgerald. The last time I talked with him, he said he was holding his own and going along fine and no problem. Lost contact after that. Uh, we have no other vessels in, uh, in that facility right now, but it looks from the information that we have that it's uh, fairly certain that the uh, ship went... Which apparently broke apart and sunk last night on Lake Superior. The ship and its 29-man crew vanished in a... Looks from the information that we have that it's uh, fairly certain that the uh, ship went down. Legend is the uh, 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 the lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November gave her Now I wonder. It was the the I'm gonna go any second now. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait for the gales of November had been slashing. The afternoon came and the streets of rain. The morning saw the hurricane of West Lane. The morning was approximately 15 miles from the high up at Crisp Point. That's when I was talking to him. He was 15 miles from the land. The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they'd put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. And all that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters.